Barber County family has searched for answers. One of their loved ones was shot and kidnapped in Woodruff in broad daylight. Jermaine West's body still has not been found, and this family is continuing to plead for help from the community. Our Erin Rogers sat down with them today, and she's here at 7 on Main with more on their effort to find Jermaine West. Erin? Well, I mean, tomorrow afternoon, the family is going to be remembering Jermaine with the walk in Woodruff. They say they want the community to come out in honor of Jermaine and all of the other people who've lost their lives to gun violence. He took every piece of me. Two years later, for Eva Thompson, the pain of losing her son is still so fresh. I always pray and ask why I cannot get, you know, closure. That's all we want is closure to bury my son. This cell phone video shows the last time most people saw Jermaine West after Marcus Todd, who's serving a life sentence for murder, shot West and threw him in the back seat of this car. It's hard every day. Because even though Todd is behind bars, they still have no idea where West's body might be. How could someone be so cruel? Almost daily, the family searches through woods. Sub the tanks, um, the landfills, anywhere that we could think of. But still, no answers. And as I hit the area, I'll say, Jermaine, if you out there, I'm here. I'm close. With no body, the family can't get a death certificate or even a final goodbye. Something the six kids Wes left behind continue to struggle with. Right by the grave sites. Wish our dad was there so we can go see our dad. And that's is really hurtful. One person who can heal the hurt has said nothing, but the family has something to say to him. If you watch him, Marcus, we're not going to stop and we won't stop until we bring Jermaine home. This like, poor family. I know, and you can just feel their pain. And Amy, I do want to say I did reach out to the Woodruff Police Department to see if they had any update with the search for Jermaine West's body, uh, but they did not get back to me in time for this broadcast. All right, what about tomorrow? We, of course, have this community effort, this walk. Tell people how they can get involved. Absolutely. So they will be holding a walk tomorrow at 430. They'll meet at uh, McKinney Park in Woodruff, and then they'll walk to the site uh, where Jermaine West was shot and taken into that SUV that you saw in the uh, story we just aired. And all, doing all of this just to remember him, and they say if there's any donations people want to make, it will go straight to his kids. He has six kids that he left behind, Amy. All right, Erin, we hope they get the answers. Thank you. We now know the